Hi everybody at home, I'm Andrea, Andrea's Fit Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me, namaste. Today we're gonna go through a half an hour series that which you could do at home, it's a yoga series. I invite you to go at your own pace, just do what feels right on your body. I will show you some modifications, so if something feels a little bit difficult, I'll let you know like different variations of the pose that you can take. Always listening to your body um, overall for modifications. And if it ever hurts, it's just the way of your body speaking back to you just to back out of the pose, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So today, um, we're gonna get started. We're gonna go ahead and come to the back of your mat. First off, at home, you want to invest in a mat. You don't have to pick up anything too expensive. Uh, I've got this thinner mat here that I picked up at Lulu. You can go to uh, Sports Authority, Lulu, Target, wherever. Don't invest in anything too expensive if you're just starting it out, just to make sure that you do like it at home, okay? So we're gonna get started. We're gonna come to the back of the mat. And we're gonna come on to our knees. Now, if this is hurting your knees, if you have a thin mat at home, you have the option to take your mats, and you can fold them in half just to protect your knees because we want to be doing this for a long time and we don't want to feel any pain in areas that we can prevent ourselves. So if that's hurting your knees at home, go ahead and fold your mats over. So we're going to go ahead and come up onto our knees and then go ahead and open up your hands here and let the energy just elevate, draw out through your fingertips. I want you to just relax your shoulders here. <clears throat> this is going to be our starting pose. So connect with your breath as you inhale. Just go ahead and fill up with your breath. So take a deep cleansing inhale through your nose. And then as you exhale at home, just releasing, letting go of any type of tension that you're holding on to. Okay, we're gonna take a couple more rounds of that breath. Inhale, really breathe in through your nose. So we're recirculating that stale air inside of our body, okay? So just cleansing out the breath, okay? So let's go ahead and breathe at home. Bring your palms down. You can curl your toes here or place it on top of the toenails, whatever feels better for you. So just, again, listening to your bodies at home, okay? So go ahead and connect with that breath, just breathing in through your nose. And then as you exhale, just feel your bodies begin to soften. So we're getting ready for our half an hour series here. We're gonna invite our hands into the pose. We're gonna inhale, create a big little circle of your little energy, and then just bring something positive right to your hearts. Let's take two more rounds of those, okay? So a nice deep inhale, breathe, sip in some air, and then bring something kind and compassionate right to your heart center. Let's do one more round, deep inhale, there you go, and just bring some good energy right into your heart. Go ahead and drop your arms down along the side. We're gonna take that right leg and we're gonna step it forward to the front of the mat, you guys. So go ahead and hinge forward. Again, if it's hurting your knees, you're protecting your joints, so you're gonna stack your mat. And we're gonna release and bring our fingertips to the floor here. Go ahead and connect again with your breath, so inhale. And then as you exhale, I just want you to sink in just a little bit deeper. You're gonna feel a stretch right here into your front part of your leg here. Okay, so your quadricep, just breathe into that. Keeping your bellies pulled in nice and tight. So we're gonna protect our lower backs at home by pulling your bellies in and not caving into the back of your spines. Good. We're gonna release our arms down by the side and we're gonna breathe our arms up. So go ahead and inhale, you guys. And then bring some good energy again right to your heart. Take two more rounds at home, inhale. Don't give it too much thought. And then bring some good energy right to your hearts. All right, let's do ten, one more here, inhale. And then take that good energy right on into your heart. We're gonna drop our hands at home. We're gonna curl the back toes and go ahead and lift that kneecap up in the back. Now take that left heel and I want you to push it away. Engage this muscle, your quadricep, and keep your bellies pulled in as you gaze down to the mat. Finding your breath at home, inhale, and exhale, let it go. Take two more rounds of breath at home, you guys. Inhale, fill up, and then exhale, release, and let it all go. One more round of breath. Really breathe that in through your nose, and then as you exhale, I want you to let it go. We're gonna take that left foot now, we're gonna slide it forward to meet the right. So nice and slow, sliding that foot in. We're gonna heel toe our feet together, you're gonna drop your hips at home, bringing them parallel to your knees, and you're gonna float your arms straight out in front. This pose is called Ukatasana at home, you guys. So sink your hips and surrender your bodies into this pose, powerful Ukatasana. 
for more of a challenge at home, you could take your pinky fingers and slightly turn them inward. Keep your chins and chest up and then sink just a little bit lower. Beautiful, you guys. Inhale, find your breath. And then exhale, we're gonna go ahead and come into a baby little squat here. Okay, so at home, if this is hurting your knees, you're not gonna go down this far, okay? So listening to those knees, those hips, and the shoulders. Otherwise, we're gonna stay right here. Bring those hands to prayer here and find your breath again. Inhale, fill up on your breath. Exhale, let it go. Two more rounds at home. Inhale, and then exhale, release. Let's do one more, inhale, and then plant both palms onto the floor, you guys. We're gonna take this right leg and step it back. So taking that right leg, slide it back. We're gonna do that on the other side now. Landing this knee, try not to slam it. You don't wanna crank yourself out. Uncurl the toes. Sink into your hips here. Blow out that stale air, you guys. Inhale the arms up. Bring some good energy to your hearts. Good, two more rounds at home. Inhale, lift chin, chest, lifts to the sky. Good energy right to your hearts. Good, take two more rounds. Inhale up. Bring your hands right to your heart. One more here. Go ahead and lift it up and around. Bring some good energy right into your heart center here, you guys. So just breathe here, exhaling out any stale air. I want you to sink into that stretch here. Just feel that stretch now in the top part of that right leg here. You're gonna tense your fingers, curl the back toes of the right, Lift your kneecap up and then go ahead and push that heel away. So find your breath, again, listening to your body. Does this hurt your knees, your shoulders, your hips? What is it doing for your body that feels good or if it doesn't feel good, just go ahead and back out of it, okay? So push that heel away, keep your chins up. Inhale through your nose and exhale it out. We're gonna walk our hands forward. We're gonna take this right leg. We're gonna slide it forward now. And again, we're gonna walk those feet together Drop your hips and float your arms up. Here we are in our powerful pose again, Ukatasana. So reach through those fingertips. Thighs are squeezing together. We're gonna sink, but we're gonna bring those heels up just to a hover if you can, and bring your hands to your hearts. See if you could just find your focus here. Just breathe, setting your gaze at home, you guys, over your fingertips. So just breathe in through your noses, and then exhale, let everything go. Good, breathe in some good energy. Send that energy to every cell in your body down to your toes. And then exhale, let it all go. We're gonna go ahead and bow down now, opening up your knees. If this hurts at home, try not to do this one. Bringing your chest low activates and engages and it releases any toxins that you have stored in your organs. So get that chest nice and low. It's rubbing it up against your lower abdomen, releasing those toxins in the organs. We're gonna take our right leg and slide it back. Our left leg will follow, landing your knees carefully, and then slowly walking again to the back of the mat. Here we go, you guys, inhale. Bring your hands to your heart, exhale. Two more rounds, inhale, float your arms up, and then right to your heart you go. Drop your hands down along the side. So we're moving along here, you guys, at home. Make sure that you're feeling okay. Check in with your knees, your hips, your shoulders. Need a sip of water, grab a sip of water. We're gonna take our right leg now and step that leg forward. So go ahead and come here, right leg forward. We've been here before, tent your fingers, curl the back toes, lift your kneecap up. Runner's lunge. Walk your right hand to your knee. Your left hand will follow. This is a modification. You feel free to stay here. Drop your knee and stay here, or we're gonna go ahead and take it all the way up. So inhale, we're gonna come right on up. And just hold here in your crescent pose at home, you guys. See if you can set that gaze straight out in front of you, okay? So lift your chins up, drop your shoulders down, and breathe here, okay? Find your body's strength. Sink into it. Breathe on the inhale, fill up. On the exhale, sink a little bit lower. We're gonna go ahead and bring our hands to the floor, taking your left leg, sliding it forward, separate your feet shoulder width apart, and then walk in those hands right up to your knees and coming into a long flat back as you lift your chins up. Exhale and fold yourselves down. Left leg this time is going to step back and hold here in this pose here, you guys. Good, blow out that air, gaze forward. Good, landing the knee, slide the arms up. And then we're gonna go ahead and come right back up to the crescent here, good. Lift, get that chin and chest lifted up nice and high. Draw those shoulders down away from your ears. Just breathe here, set that gaze right out in front of you. 
Inhale through your nose. Go ahead and exhale it all out. Good, take a baby, baby, baby squat into that right leg. Land in your fingertips and slide. Separate your feet shoulder width apart and fold your bodies down. Inhale, come up to a flat back, you guys at home, and smile. Plant your palms and step your right leg back. Step your left leg back. Again, landing your knees. We're gonna come into what's called the child's pose. So bringing your big toes to touch and then sinking your hips down in towards your heels, surrendering your forehead, coming into child's pose. So child's pose is a rest pose. So anytime during these series, if you're feeling tired, you can always feel free to come back into your rest pose, your child's pose. So it's just a playful leg pose, nothing to take too serious in any of these poses at home, okay? So bring those toes together. You're gonna pull your bellies in tight and then sink yourselves back and then just lower it down to the floor, you guys. See if you could just let your body surrender here. So it's called child's pose. It's just like the playful, like, just visualize yourself in that, like, playful, childlike pose, okay? Again, nothing too serious. Yoga is not too serious. Just kind of laugh at yourself. So let's go ahead and come back on, whenever you're ready at home, to the back of the mat, back up onto your knees, and we're going to add on here. So let's go ahead and inhale the arms up. Bring that good energy right on to your hearts. Two more rounds, inhale, right to your heart you go. We're gonna step again, this right foot is coming forward. We're coming right into our runner's pose. You're gonna curl the back toes. We're gonna drop the back heel down on the left foot. You're gonna anchor down through the outer edge of that left foot. We're gonna rise up, we're coming into warrior one. So we're gonna slide the arms up, inhale, exhale and go ahead and sink. Breathe in through your nose, don't forget to breathe. Exhale, let it go. We're gonna open our bodies up to warrior two. We're gonna bring our right arm forward. Our left arm comes back. And then go ahead and sink into this pose, you guys, at home. Just breathe here, relax those shoulders. Flip your front palm and chase, come forward. Inhale, exhale, and release. We're gonna go ahead and cartwheel those hands. Coming again into our runner's lunge pose. Set your gaze out in front of you. Breathe in through your nose. Let it go, sink your hips. Breathe in through your nose, let it go and sink your hips. Very slowly sliding your left leg forward. Separate your feet shoulder width apart and bow to yourself. Inhale, come into a flat back. Exhale, you fold. One more. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and fold. Let's take our right leg now, you guys, and step it on back. Good, go ahead and land here. Uncurl the toes. And then reach your arms up to the sky. Find an inhale here. Look up. Bring good energy right to your hearts. Good. Inhale. Lift chin, chest up. Good energy is coming right into your hearts now. Good. We're going to go ahead and slowly curl the back toes. Lift up. Drop an anchor down through the pinky toe of that right foot. Floating your arms up. Here you are in your warrior one pose. Good, see if you can gaze out in front of you. Soften your bodies at home into this pose. Turn those pinky fingers inward. Keep those chins lifted. And we're gonna open up our bodies, coming into our warrior two pose. So go ahead and open up. Good, sink down into this stretch, okay? So your breath is your tool, okay, to allow you to take your bodies where you need to go, okay? Sink into it. Flip your front palm. Come on and go forward, inhale. Lift up out of it, exhale. Cartwheel those hands all the way back down. You're in your runner's lunge. Good, gaze forward. Slide your back foot forward and take a bow to yourself. Recognize your awesomeness. Good, inhale, come into a flat back lift. Exhale, you fold. One more time, you guys, inhale. And plant your palms, step your right leg back. Step your left leg back. Land both knees and surrender at home into your child's pose. Good, blow it out. So just breathe into your child's pose. Here we are again. A lot of the poses, um, the child's pose is something that we break it up in between. So you just get a moment to reconnect, surrender, let go, try not to hold on to anything, you know, stress, negative, anxiety. We're just leaving that all on the mat. So let's go ahead and slowly again roll up, you guys. Inhale. Hands to your heart. Exhale. Step in your right leg again forward. Sink into that stretch. Take your left hand and stretch it out like you're reaching for somebody. And they're gonna take that elbow and cross it over. 
So my modifications at home, I want you to stay right here, okay? Just stay right here, don't travel on. Otherwise, we're gonna bring the heels of the palms together. Press those palms together, you guys, and just breathe into it. So try not to crank your bodies right into this pose, okay? So you don't get any injuries in your body. When you're ready, curl those back toes. Lift that kneecap up and push your heels away. Blow out that stale air. Don't hold on to any stale air. Good, breathe, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Slowly take your gaze, look to your big toe. You're gonna slide your back leg in. So we're coming into an ukatasana twist here. Squeeze those thighs together. Squeeze the heels of the palms together. And then go ahead and sink your hips one more inch. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, let it go and fold your bodies down. Good, separate those feet shoulder width apart. Walking your hands up, here's your inhale. Exhale, those hands plant. Right leg back, left leg back. Land your knees and peel yourself up. Vertebrae by vertebrae, there you go. Inhale up, hands to your heart, exhale. By the side, your hands go, left leg is stepping. Here's your runner's lunge, good. Curl the back toes, lift the kneecap up, push the heel away. Option again, you guys, is to stay right here, twist into it, heels push together, elbow connects, twist and find your breath. Curl the back toes, if you're ready, lift your kneecap up, push your heels away, good, blow out your stale air. Inhale, exhale takes you deeper. Good, inhale, exhale a little deeper. Gaze down to the big toe, slide your back leg, and sink your hips, find your twist. Good, thighs are squeezing together. Blow out your stale air. Breathe it in, blow it on out. Another deep inhale, exhale and fold your bodies down. Good, slowly I want you to walk those hands to your knees. Come into a long lengthening flat back and then fold. Good, one more time, roll yourselves up. And then you're gonna lift your chins and chest up. And then you're gonna take a nice deep swan dive. So go ahead and lean with your hearts and come into your swan dive, let it go. Shh. Find your flat back, plant your palms, right leg steps, left leg steps, drop your knees. You're gonna take your left foot, kick stand it over, and we're gonna open ourselves up, coming into our side angle here. So you're gonna take that right arm and then just reach it up to the sky here, like somebody's reaching for your hand and grab here. Open up your chest, good, blow out your stale air. So either stay here, here's the modification, or if you want a little bit more, you're gonna take that bottom leg and slide it down through those legs and look up to the sky, you guys. Blow out that stale air, see if you can breathe into the pose. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Good, two more rounds. And then slowly come back to the center. Land your knees, we're gonna do that on the other side. Kickstand that right leg, pull your bellies in tightly. And then go ahead and open up, finding your extended side angle. Reach through those fingertips, staying either here or sliding that leg. Tuck your hips under and lift. Find your breath. Inhale, exhale. Two more rounds. Inhale, exhale. One more round. Breathe it in. Come back to the center here. Good. Blow out your stale air. We're going to slide our body forward, you guys. Inhale. Land your knees, bring your toes to your glutes, and lower down, eight-point pose. Hold here, come into an upward dog, inhale. Push yourselves back, and ta-da! There we go, you guys, we're back in our child pose. Blow out your stale air. Good, so how's everybody doing at home? Doing good, see nothing too serious, you're all smiling, right? Don't forget to turn the outer edges of your mouth upwards, so you're not taking this pose too seriously. We're gonna come into um, a little bit of belly work here, because strong core, that's the foundation of a lot of these, um, the foundation of a lot of these poses. You're gonna focus on your bellies, okay? So let's go ahead and come here into a comfortable seated pose. And then I want you to take your hands and bring them behind your legs here. Draw your shoulders down, pull your belly in, and then round out here, you guys. And then go back about three inches, just about so your arms are nice and straight, okay? Good. Keep your bellies really pulled in tightly and keep those chins lifted up. Good, exhale out that air. Don't hold your breath, breathe in. So if this is too easy, let's take those hands and bring them right out in front of you. Good, exhale out that air. If this is still too easy, bring those feet right up on a shelf, you guys. Keep those bellies pulled back here. Really engage in the core muscles. 
by pulling the belly in nice and tightly, you release any toxins that get stored in the lower part of your organs. So you're pulling everything in tightly, squeeze everything nice and tightly, get rid of those organs, toxins, okay? So if you were out eating some unhealthy food, or even if you were outside having a couple drinks, release those toxins in those organs, okay? Blow out that air. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, begin to lengthen those legs up. Keep those chins lifted so the gaze is above the toes. Good. Keeping a still face here. Breathe it in. Inhale, lift your chins up. Exhale, release. Good. One more round of breath. Inhale. Exhale slowly wherever you are. Come on down. We're going to bring our arms out like a wing. Inhale, there's your breath. Exhale, bring some good energy right to your heart. We're going to just stay here for a seated twist just to work your spine. That's your lifeline. So let's go ahead and take that left hand, place it onto the knee, drop your shoulder, keep those chins up, and then find a nice little seated twist. See if you can lift up and out of your hips so you don't collapse, opening up your heart. Good. Let's take that on the other side when you're ready. Other arm over, shoulders down, chins lift. Take your twist on the other side when you're ready. Blow out that stale air. Take your left hand now, bring it over. Lift your chins and your chests up, and then go ahead and fold your bodies down, trying to flatten out your backs. Exhale out any stale air. Good, and then slowly begin to peel yourselves up one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna bring our arms again down by the side, inhale up, and exhale, good energy to your heart. Let's go ahead and flip over, guys, and come onto your mat and bring your legs straight out here in front of you. We're going to do a seated lift out of your hips, so grow tall, shimmy yourselves around, coming up out of your hips, and reach those fingertips straight up to the sky here. So I want everybody to lift up and breathe. There's your inhale. As you exhale, I want you to reach your chest forward. Don't round out your backs. Just reach your chest forward as though you're reaching for somebody's hands straight out in front of you. You'll begin to feel at home a little bit of an uncomfortableness in the back part of your legs, your hamstrings. So don't go down too far that you're feeling anything cranky. I just want you to reach here. It should feel like a gentle stretch. And then as you become more flexible, go ahead and fold yourselves down, letting everything go. Slowly, when you're ready, you're going to peel up just vertebrae by vertebrae, reaching your hands straight out in front of you. Elbows are gonna stay wide, we're gonna pull our bellies in, and we're gonna come down to about a halfway hold here, okay? Point your toes if you can, as that feels okay on your ankles, and then reach your right leg up to a hover. Okay, see if you can just, again, set those gazes out in front of you, blow out your stale air. Good, bring your right leg down. When you're ready, your left leg lifts. Again, letting go of any stale air, not holding your breath. Both feet come down if you would like. Both legs come up to a hover. Just hold here for a breath. And then slowly flexing your feet. We're going to find our way down onto our back. So we're bringing it home, you guys. So slowly bring your hands straight out in front of you. Tuck your chin to the chest. We're going to take a slow descent down to the floor, okay? So nothing too quick, okay? So nice and slow, I want you to bring it home. Come on down. And then you're gonna soften here. So this is our Shavasana pose, the most important. Your palms are gonna flip up. Go ahead and take a lot of space. So spread those toes wide and relax your shoulders. Good. So this pose, everyone at home, this is um, our corpse pose. It's Shavasana. So for those of you that haven't done it before, it's, it's quite an uncomfortable pose because it's a pose where you're sitting in stillness completely with yourself. So it could feel a little bit awkward at first. So I want you to go ahead and find your comfortableness. You're coming down onto your backs, okay? And then you're gonna put your palms up. You're gonna close your eyes. And then I want you at home to just connect with that breath. So just breathe there, close your eyes. We're gonna stay there for about 30 seconds at home. So when you do this at home, about 30 seconds. It allows you to find that silence in life and connect to whatever's important to you. So whatever's important to you, it's entirely different from me, your neighbor, your children, your spouse, any of your friends. So be still, okay? If there's anything you get out of me, I want you to sit still and find that Shavasana and that quiet within yourself, okay? So we're here in our Shavasana. Just close those eyes, sink. Stay in it for about 30 seconds, you guys, but I'm gonna slowly, just because we don't have a lot of time right now, I'm gonna bring us out of it, and you're gonna hug your knees into your chest. 
Let's give yourself a nice little hug here. Thank yourself for doing something good for you. We're gonna find our way in a comfortable seated. So however you wanna get there, you guys, you can roll to the left side, you can roll to your right side. We're all gonna come up and then we'll meet here in a comfortable seated position. So go ahead and find your comfortable seated at home. You can take blocks if this hurts your knees, opening up your knees too much and just place it underneath. And we're gonna take both of our hands, you're gonna bring them together. It's a prayer little mudra and you're gonna bring it right to your beautiful hearts, okay? So close your eyes if you can at home and then just tap inward and slightly bow inward towards your hearts, okay? So just breathe here. We're in our final last pose. You worked so hard. You got your body in these different flexible shapes and bends. And I want you to allow your mind to be as flexible and bendable to not break as your body was, okay? So close your eyes, breathe in, inhale through your nose. Exhale, just release, let go. Leave any tension, anxiety, stress on the mat. So as you journey off of the mat, just allow your breath to guide you. Thank you. Again, everyone, I'm Andrea, Andrea's Fit Yoga. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for joining me today, half an hour series. Um, you can find me, I teach across the South Shore. I'm over at Weymouth Club in Weymouth, Fit Factory in Braintree. I'm over at the Bayshore Athletic Club in Braintree, the Zen Den. I do private trainings on um, my own. I come to your house, your office. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Andrea Mariani. So thank you so much from my heart to yours. Namaste for joining me. We'll just close in our final few moments here in a meditation type of a stage. So if you could just close your eyes, you could bring your palms up if you would like in a grounding with the palms down or palms up in a nice receiving. So however you're feeling, if you're feeling like you need to be grounded, go ahead and take those palms and bring them down. If you're feeling exuberant amounts of energy, bring your palms up. Maybe somebody in the room needs some of your energy. So just be still here, final moments here in your Shavasana. Nicely done, everybody at home. Thank you so much for joining me. From my heart to each and every one of yours, I bow to you. Namaste. Thank you.